tell you how to use the cast to find the uh, gradient and equation of a line that is passing through two points uh, using the picture plot uh, no but um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the same using the statistics no okay so the question is um, simply question one find the gradient of the line that passes through the points 2 comma minus 10 and minus 5 comma 11 so these are the two points point 1 and point 2 okay, so we are going to use the case for this let's go into the statistics menu okay um, let's do a clear all first right now we have to key in the first point 2 comma minus 10 so let's do it on the first line this is uh, point 1 so we say 2 comma minus 10 so this two would be the y point, the y and the least one would be the x. So again, um, the second point minus five, minus five comma eleven. So let's do minus five comma eleven. Right. So we have two points now: point one two comma minus ten, and point two minus five comma eleven, as uh, as the question requires. Now what we have, since we have these two points on the cast, what we simply need to do is to go onto this menu at the uh, calc, which is uh, calculate, and uh, we click on that and go into the regression menu. From the regression menu, we go onto the linear regression. Okay, once you click on the linear regression, it says uh, x list. Okay, and uh, this is this one as what we have uh, as as what we have done earlier. If you have uh, keep that on and the the x um, the x axis on another column you need to change it accordingly okay but in this case we have keyed it in this one and again the y list we have keyed it in this two okay so we can leave the rest and we say okay now once we say okay it, that gives us the linear regression that means the trend line of this two points since we have two points it is going to be the exact equation of the line so y equals to ax plus b all right now if we, I click on this, you see that there are two forms. Um, in class, we have uh, discussed about these two forms. This first form, y equals to ax plus b, is a very familiar um, um, standard form um, of the equation, y equals to mx plus c, which I've learned previously. And uh, generally, in statistics, we use the other form, which is y equals to a plus bx. And you need to be clear which, which you are using, because the a and b will be flipped. So let's, let me go through both. Oh, both forms. So let's start with y equals to ax plus b. y equals to ax plus b. So we're going to write it, we're going to say a is equals to minus 3. So y equals to minus 3 and that is the a. And uh, the b would be minus 4. So y equals to minus 3 minus 4. Okay, but if we use the, sorry, y equals to a, Oh, if we use the other form, y equals to a plus bx, so let's change it to y equals to a plus bx. So we change it to y equals to a plus bx, this is the form, and we say, okay, what is a? What is a? And we come here, this is y equals to a plus bx, we say a is minus 4, and b is equals to minus 3 here. So minus 3, minus 4, minus 3x. And if you look at these two equation y equals to minus 3x minus 4 and y equals to minus 4 minus 3. They are actually the same equation. Okay, it is just that the, uh, the terms are the terms are, are flipped around. Okay, so 4 comes here and the minus 3x comes uh, comes last. Okay, so that's the way we use we use um, the case uh, in the statistics menu to find the gradient of the line and the equation of the line. So the gradient of the line, minus 3, that is the gradient of the line here, um, minus 3, and if it is in this form, that would be the a, minus 3, and remember the gradient is always associated with the x.